everyone. It is Saturday, the 12th of March. The time is 12 noon exactly. And the temperature is 28 degrees. I'm at Holland Road. And right here behind me is this massive greenery. We're going to cross Holland Road today and head over to Dempsey Hill. Have a look at some of the restaurants there and just a nice nice area there but I wanted to start here because somewhere through there in the greenery is an old mansion house that has kind of it has burned it has gone into bad repair people go there to uh, kind of claim it's a haunted house it's uh, and I'm going to start wa um, walking at all. it's actually the house that's supposed to be or allegedly is the inspiration for the mansion in the Crazy Rich Asians movie Singapore doesn't really <laughs> have that kind of landed massive property. Um, not a lot of it, at least. So I, maybe you, like me, have wondered <laughs> where is that area where you get that kind of thing? Well, it was modeled based on this, uh, one of the biggest, I think, estates in history um, in, this, in this country. And it was, I think it's still owned. There's sort of um, what's left of the building um, by the kind of a royalty of Johor or the, whoever, whoever is responsible that, for that now, it used to belong to the Crown Prince, if I'm correct. They had a couple of big houses there. So people do go into that, the jungle. There's a route through. It's now been, uh, well, for the past couple of years, uh, the police has taken that as uh, trespassing. Some people who made YouTube videos there even got contacted after people reported them. It is private property. But can you imagine how amazing it would be if they would restore some of that? You could visit it. Oh, look at that. I think that would be pretty cool. There are some videos of people going there online. You won't find that on this channel, but it's quite interesting that it's there and it's massive. And even in its current repair, it's worth a lot of money. So we'll see what happens to it. I think it's called the Woodnook House. See, we are coming to a road that I do seem to have to cross to get to the pavement. We'll wait a little bit. Small road, but a lot of traffic. I think it's the weekend. Weekend traffic. It's a nice area. Oh, I think we have a posh car coming up as well. I mean, Rather interestingly, there is a crossing to my uh, left, but there is nowhere to walk on on that side to get to the crossing. So here we go, all good. It's a lovely sunny day. The city has looked absolutely stunning this morning. I took the bus around Orchard, past the uh, National Museum. Everything looked Really lovely after all the rain we've been having. Just the weather makes a big difference. There are a lot of uh, nice restaurants in this area. Cafes. Even the Museum of Ice Cream is somewhere around here. That's where the nice car was heading. It's about lunchtime now, noon, so... I'd imagine that accounts for some of the traffic around Dempsey Hill. We're right next to uh, Holland Village as well. It's walking distance from here. So that gives you an idea, maybe, if you're familiar, what kind of an area we're in. But right now it's just very, very green. I walked here along the side of the Botanic Garden. And I guess also the side of that 
jungle where we started from and uh, saw that greenery. That's all the way following the road and even as I was walking on the on the pavement, a monitor lizard just kind of jumped further into the forest. Oh, what a pretty place. I think it's been turned into a restaurant. Beautiful. Claudine. Bond soon. That's very pretty. It does have the uh, glass paintings. So I'd imagine that's been a turret turned into a restaurant. People going into the jungle, probably, I don't think I'd have it in me anyway. <laughs> Even without the trespassing. Could be snakes, could be lizards, could be all kinds of things. Lurking there in the grass and jungle. Is this where we need to cross? These buildings look like a barracks. St. James's Church Kindergarten. Someone's making a U-turn behind me. <laughs> yeah, I am definitely coming to the end of this walkway. So another crossing for me. I'm getting the feel it's not the most pedestrian friendly, at least on this side. But we are across. Oh, there's a pool. That's a really nice kindergarten if it has a pool. How cool is that? Baker and a cook. A pizza place which looks very busy. It gives me that kind of a London vibe a little bit. You know, West London, posh areas where people go out with their family on a, on a Saturday, Sunday, to sit at a pub and uh, yeah, spend the day. I think that's the outdoors gym there. Oh yeah, you even got the uh, sports activities going on for the kids. And we're going towards the buildings there. Kind of nice to have the condos at the background there. I always like the green with the with the city view. So there would be quite a few places there. So you've got schools you got landscaping, swimming, playground, trimming and spa, even a luxury pet hotel and a Korean barbecue. But I think what we'll do is we'll continue along to the sort of restaurant area and have a look there. There's a little, little bit of a thing going on here, I think. Oh, I would love to cross, but there is a very bit of a Traffic going in and out here. Oh, let's at least stand in the shadows while we wait. And a state learn, I should be able to make my way across. That's a cute little scooter. Although I find that really, I think, annoying to actually ride, but um, cute. And we're out of pavement again. I guess it continues on the other side once we get through this part here. So there's the cool sports field with the 
city background. That's really cool. A nice way to spend Saturday afternoon. So Dempsey Hill will have these restaurants housed in these fairly unique looking white buildings that you can start seeing there at the background. And uh, this is a really annoying way to walk, by the way, on the side of the road. There's some kind of a little path through the, uh, through the water element with the Dempsey Hill words there. But other than that, it's just kind of cars going past and it's just on the side of the street. I think this is not maybe the way most pedestrians enter. I think this here in the corner is the Greek restaurant. Looked it up a few times. Never been. And uh, we can go and have a look at the, once the car is passed, have a look at the water element there. I guess these are shaped kind of like the uh, super trees. Some information, but it's already started to wear out. Life is a culmination of the past, an awareness of the present, an indication of a future beyond knowledge. The quality that gives a touch of divinity to matter. So, it started as a nutmeg plantation in the 1850s. And everything's labeled by uh, Dempsey and the blocks. And I think we'll see a lot of these restaurants around. So many cars arriving in. Must be the lunch hour rush. Just have a really nice feel. for the cars, I feel like I'm in a sort of a, one of those shopping complexes in the UK. The Creek restaurant does have a really nice terrace, but it just kind of has that feel of either a American or UK places where the first thing you worry about is where you buy your car. But very pretty. The terraces are nice, even if the cars are what your view is on this side. There's modern European Asian influence. Mumbao. I guess the corner place would be quite nice. That's a Japanese restaurant. Even more cars showing up now. I think we'll walk through here and have a look at the shop fronts a little bit. Because it's basically a carousel of cars to the back there. And the place is really, really nice, but it does affect a little bit if it's uh, too many cars. Got an Italian restaurant with organic fresh pasta. an art space here. I 
yeah, it's not possible to walk through there either, so it's more just kind of like walking through the parking lot and deciding where you want to go. But a lot of really nice looking places otherwise. And I'm sure if you're inside, you don't notice the cars so much. The Dempsey project here. It's a Vietnamese place on the other side. But it does have a huge sort of a parking lot feel here. Imagine if the parking lot was somewhere else and then you just had these uh, restaurants here. That would be nicer, I think. But it is a nice area. Nice to see people enjoying their weekend. All of the places look nicely decorated, I'm sure. Inside it's going to be uh, just lovely. It's just really nice outside spaces even if you're kind of looking at your car all the time. <laughs> This could have a really kind of a nice vibe. If you could walk, if it was more pedestrian friendly and you could kind of walk around these places a bit more and uh, well, you hear the music a little bit, maybe some chatter, but you know, it would be nice to know these places are so nice inside. It would be nice to kind of get a feel of that when you walk around. There's the queue for this place. They've got a nice outdoor space and I'm going to go before the car comes. <laughs> if I get stuck with the cars, it's not going to be very good. I think that's not necessarily a very lively area. I'll go back and sort of walk the other side of it. So here are some signs which are not really very informative at, at all other than just where's the way out. I guess that's important when trying to find your way. And I'm going to cross and go back to the... back to the other side of these restaurants. So as nice as these places are, not sure of the parking lot wipe here. Especially as someone who doesn't drive. I mean, I could easily, easily uh, ride a motorbike here. But I'd probably just go for a crab or something come here for an evening. Harry is just gearing up towards uh, St. Patrick's Day. It's a really mixed crowd of people having coffee, lunch, and then some, some having sparkling drinks and margaritas. 
bigger places for all of that, which is nice. It's a good variety. Yeah, so this is supposed to be the pedestrian food path. Sorry, <laughs> food path. Ah, oh, I'm in my thoughts now. I think here we are just behind buildings, but let's go and see what we can find here. Yeah, these are just the aircon units behind the restaurants. Oh, we've got Hathaway. Looks lovely. And here you can actually have an idea of what this place is like. We've got Bombay Garden. And they might have a really nice terrace if they have views opening up. Do that green. Yeah, they've got a nice outside space. Here's the other side and probably where all their furniture comes from for those nice terraces. <laughs> yeah, this would be a great place to have that kind of design store as they do there. We've got a little water element. I think a shrine at the back. No fishing or feeding the fish. Well, fishing would seem like an obvious no here. camera angle there as well. So that would be that would be what's here. Quite a nice little water dis well, well can you say water display maybe. And then we've got a playground. A very fancy looking playground as well. And another parking lot. I think I've seen the theme of how you arrive here already. Let's go see the fishy. Look at this. That would be a pretty cool playground. I'd imagine there are more places over here. some clothes stores so maybe we're coming more into a shopping area as you can see I've never been in them so before at feast eat cook shop they have a very colorful entrance at least nice tangling distillery this is a chin yeah chin distillery These units seem to be empty in the corner here. It does seem quieter along here. Long Beach at Dempsey. Yeah, there's been something there, but it's been taken apart. All the lanterns are down. 
that's for the gin distillery. They look like they're in the jungle. That's lovely. They probably have some some kind of a bar there as well to be advertising and to be here in the first place, I guess. I think I'm coming to the end of this stretch here. This is very cute. I like it. Is there a throwaway here? There's a path continuing on past the restaurant. I'm curious to see if that takes me anywhere. It might not, just a quick warning. But that was basically the restaurant area of Dempsey Hill. Oh, what a gorgeous view. Look at that, amazing. You can see the bus, you can see the street. Wow, can you imagine everything you could do with that space there? the view. That's amazing and I think it will take us to another parking lot. <laughs> so hopefully a way through here. But this here, this, this is the view. There's a restaurant, that, restaurant tables that have a view here that would be kind of I guess private rooms in this restaurant. And then the terrace over here in the corner. I'll try to make my way to the parking lot. There must be a way out of here. That side. Yes, there is. So, oh, there's a cat there. I don't know if this, that's the restaurant's cat or stray. Definitely looking for some yummy treats from the tables. So Long Beach looks nice. So does this. Oh, this is theirs as well. Very nice. And the cat is there. I think with that we'll leave uh, the restaurant area at Dempsey Hill behind us. It's fun to see though. I'll come back sometime. For sure. Kind of unique looking uh, lamps there. But my only complaint would be the cars. <laughs> like this is fine. Of course you need a parking lot. I'm not complaining about that. But like if your restaurant is or has the feel of being at the side of a parking lot. It's less than ideal, I think. Especially with all this greenery around, like you come in and it's so green and lovely and then suddenly it's just surrounded by cars going in circles, like a shopping mall. That car looks like it has some special, uh... oh, another one, a special job today for the cars, I'd imagine. Oh, this looks lovely. That's the Red Dot Breweries one. Wow, yeah, that one is pretty. And here's the main car, I think. Look at that. Ah, uh, I think that's the third, <laughs> third, uh, marriage related thing I see today. Look at this, just the stairs up and everything, wow. I love that. The outside space for the brewery as well. Yeah, I'd, I'd come back for that for sure. It's very pretty. And see what a difference it makes when they don't have the, like they got the parking lot just like 10 meters away. <laughs> 
not right in front of the door. But yeah, don't get me wrong on what I've been saying. It's a really nice area. I'm sure many of those restaurants are lovely. I would go and give it a try. It's just a... It's something to note if you're looking for an outside table at least. I'm pretty sure it says slow down here, not speed up. Uh, oh well. <laughs> And the buildings are really lovely. Uh, yeah. I would go just to check those out as well. Let's have a little bit of a... Oh, wow, look at that green space there. Nice. Like you have so much greenery around here. It's a, it's a really nice feel. I think this is Dempsey Road now and we could continue on but I'm going to check where I am specifically and where I might go from here okay so we have been actually covering a lot of ground considering what's up here so I'll just do a little bit of a loop on the right side here where we haven't been yet and then uh, I think that's it, we'll call it a walk. Tempura bar. to sort of the side of this I think rather than following another car path I'm going to cross here and get a view of those gardens there at the Dempsey Cookhausen bar and thank you so much for joining me today as we're wrapping this up slowly I hope you enjoyed the walk at Dempsey Hill starting from Holland Road. And exploring the restaurant area, Dempsey Hill, a little bit. If you'd like to see more videos from Singapore, you can of course subscribe to the channel and it's much appreciated. But you can also follow along anyway. That's also fine. So, as we arrive to the same areas we already walked in. There's the playground at the background. I think it's time to uh, thank you for today. 
and I hope I'll see you again soon.